Hi, today I'm going to show you how to watch the videos in the CD that you received and also to show you how to access the software that's included with the content conveyor system. Right now all I'm doing is loading the CD that you got directly into my CD-ROM and it's going to automatically start up and play. There's not going to be anything I need to do at this point because it will automatically pop up and start to play. So right now, uh, just let that load. Here are the different videos that you're going to receive on your CD. and all you need to do is click on one of these uh, in this order so that you can get so you can follow along with how the system works so all you do is click on one of these here so it just started up the video and you can start to watch that once you're done watching all of these videos the next step is to download the software that comes with this now it's not located here on this page so I wanted to show you how to get to it we're just going to close this up right here and I'm going to go down to my little start button down there in the corner. You're going to see just the bare edge of it right here, but that's when you click the start button, that's where it pops up. There's going to be a line right here and it says my computer. It's right here. So it says my computer. So I'm going to click on that and open it up. And right here it's going to show you all the different uh, things I have in my computer. And one of them here is the CD ROM drive and there's my content conveyor is located in my CD ROM. So I'm just going to click the right click button instead of the left click button and it, you're going to come up with the different uh, options you can do along the side here. Now instead of autoplay which it normally does what I'm going to do is open And there that gives you that list. Let me go back quickly. I'm going to go back to the prior screen just to show you. Now if you accidentally right if you accidentally left click it, like double click, um, just like you normally would, it's just going to pop up with the screen again. So you don't want to do that. But uh, that's a, a way to get to it if it didn't open for you uh, automatically, but it should. That's how it goes. So instead of just double clicking on the the left hand click, I'm going to right click it get here and press the open button again these are the files that are on this disk you can disregard these because these are the videos that play automatically when you uh, start when you plug in your CD right here we have the Turkenstein software for Macintosh and then we have the Turkenstein software for Windows so you can download both of those if you happen to have a Windows and a Mac PC but uh, all I have is a Windows PC so I'm going to double click on this and it's going to ask me if I want to extract all files right here so I say yes I want to do that and up pops the extraction wizard so this is automatically going to do this for you so you just click next now this is the drive for my CD-ROM drive, so I want to change that because I can't save this back to the CD. So I'm going to browse and find a place in my computer that I want to... Okay, I'm just going to find a place to do that. And so here we, I come down and I click on my computer because I'm going to put this on an external drive so it doesn't uh, mess up the one I have on my computer already. So here I'm going to click another the disk. So I'm just going to show you like I'm putting it where exactly I want it. You might want to just put it straight onto your desktop uh, so that you know exactly where to find it. So I'm just going to pick that there and I'm just going to say next and finish. And up pops the file here and it's going to be right here. Now this is how you want you uh, download your software. So you just click double click on that right click or sorry left click on that and it pops the setup for the Turkenstein software and the rest of it after you set this up will be on the video and you just want to click next accept the agreement after reading through here next and then you show where you want it which will be in the program files usually 
and then you just keep continuing but since I already have it on there I I'm not going to reinstall it but you can see from there once it's there you'll be able to run it thank you very much and that's how you get at the files that are behind the auto start menu